What's up people, Sherwin here and welcome back to my blog and today we are very interesting uh, session uh, blog on my video which is I'm gonna share my one hour and a half of my training so on the first exercise up to the 400 back and drill so I did my first exercise which is the one and two which is almost the form this exercise give me the strength and stamina especially the tournament is coming soon the veterans so I need to be more sharp get my balance nicely and of course the uh, the energy and speed of my hand and my legs so I'm very excited to play in that tournament so hopefully I can play my best but for the meantime I just keep doing this exercise just to get the right feeling on it good timing and you know eye coordination and then after this exercise so I did some uh, uh, what we call the, the backhand toss which is I need to do like maybe 8 minutes of this exercise just to you know, get the feeling on it make it more sharp uh, I know it's hard to do it especially sometimes you have uh, play with a different blocker uh, they doing some uh, counter block sometimes they do a uh, punch block so and then after this the back and top spin then I did some uh, one back and one pohan so I can see so I can feel my my uh, transition if I'm uh, passing up so if not I try to keep pushing myself to do it so still everything is feeling on it and stamina so on this exercise I was really really tired because if you play with 8 minutes of this uh, exercise is very tired so you can play four minutes, then you rest for one minute, then another four minutes again continues, and then rest for another minute. So yeah. And then well after this, the exercise, well you need to do some with the right feeling on it, which is what I call the forehand touch. Or the touch touch. You can do forehand or back and just to get your feet and then uh, the right after the phone touch so I decided to do some multiple bowls just to make my uh, uh, arm get more speed on it just to you know get faster I need that faster stroke just to you know uh, do my timing I need to be more focused on it on every each bowl yeah, just to make sure your reaction is fast enough the ball is coming yeah and the other exercise I did so I did some uh, forehand open up uh, again is a one two exercise so I need to do this load because the forehand open up normally we always use this when you do uh, after the serve you know when you do the third ball attack you do the second ball attack any chances that you can use your forehand so we always look for a big form so also i asked uh, coach david to you know give me some half long as well so I need to get the feeling in it not to hit my arm on the table so half long is the hardest thing to do so although it's uh, some of the sh some of the ball they give me it's a bit long but still, uh, the important is I need to try it on, put everything together on the table, which is quite hard. So my advice for those of you who wanted to do the mini ball, especially the opener, always concentrate and use your leg a lot you know and you know the timing uh, the contact 
This is very important. It's not just like you just hit the ball and do nothing. Yeah, so if you notice guys, these ones I'm very very tired, but I need to keep going on just to get my uh, feeling on it. And yes, so this is I think this is the happy one. Yeah, that's the one. The one. That's the one. And then I decided to do the one touch combination with the porn open up. This is a very important one because after you receive. You need to uh, turn around and try to uh, do some attraction. And yes, although some of my touch were really bad. So I need to do it again. To be, uh, sharper. But I think this is okay. At least I can manage to you know, keep the ball on. Although my leg is still quite top and slow. Next time we're gonna ask Coach David to put me in the uh, front side because normally he always give me on the back and side which is I know already. I told him to do this is random but he said to me he's, he's getting hard to uh, put me on the ball especially the pushes or the pohan run. I think he did once or twice uh, but I can't remember. But well, anyway the important one is I need to try this uh, forehand shot to, you know, the time make more time and better. And of course, uh, my backhand favorite, the backhand open up, is the one I need to do a lot of this because uh, before I always use a big forehand, everything is forehand. But sometimes nowadays, uh, you know, I'm quite lazy now, so I need to give some little bit more superb and make more practice on my back and open anyway uh, this is quite interesting so the back and open up i did this one against backspin it's like i need to take more early more legs after this session my legs is oh my god it's really really tired on that one and then after this exercise of course the last one is I'm gonna show you the, the foreign flick. Yeah, after this backhand, so I need to do more of that. So this is the foreign flick. This is the last exercise I do. I just need to still get the right feeling and you know it's good to uh, practice a return of the sub against this one. And that's all guys. So this is all together for eight minutes each of each exercise and two minutes so you can maximize your training for one hour to one and a half so it depends how you're gonna train with it so all you have to do just find a right partner for you if they can block it the better and you know every time you play table tennis you always have a plan it's, it's not just like you go there you just play nothing if you have a goal you want it to improve more of your stroke so make sure the plan is always there yeah so that's it guys and thank you for watching and hopefully you like my video for one and a half hour uh, exercise uh, my suggestion to you you can make like four minutes each so at least uh, four minutes for your exercise and then after that you can change over it and then yeah, you can play one and a half hour, both of you. And then after that, you can play a match. And yes, so...